Your reviews are meant to be shown and put right in front of people so that they can understand what other people that are doing business with you have to say. What's up, guys? My name is Bayant with Extendly, and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a nifty little feature called Reviews Widget inside your high-level and AI summary and how you should be using it on your customers' websites and your website. Before we get started, let me show you how we're using it on our website at Extendly. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the Extendly website. Here, let me go ahead and refresh this so we can land on this page. So when you go to Extendly.com and you scroll through our page, you're going to land on a section where there's reviews directly from Google that are published on our website using the reviews widget and the AI summary that we are talking about today, how you can install it on your website and for your customers' websites as well. All right, here we go. So these are the reviews, the showcases, the reviews. We can pick and choose the styling and all of that. And I'll go over that in just a second. Here's an AI summary. And there's a few different types of AI summary you can select. We've gone with a bulleted style. So it's easier for somebody to understand instead of them having to read through a bunch of reviews. And then if they want to load more, they can just click load more and continue to go for as long as they wanted to. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right back into high level and take a look at how you can set this up for yourself. First, go ahead and go over to reputation. Once you're in reputation, then you want to click on widgets up top. Once you're in widgets, then you'll come to this screen, something that looks like this. You may not have any of the widgets set up on the side just yet. So you will want to click on create new. And then once you press create new, you'll get a couple of different options to choose from. The first option is AI summary, whether you even want to display AI summary or not. If you don't want to display AI summary, you can simply turn it off and then the AI summary bar will disappear from the widget screen. I definitely recommend turning it on because not everybody wants to read all of the reviews there. They just quickly want to get an idea of what your customers are saying. And AI summary makes it easy and convenient for your customers visiting your website or your potential customers visiting your website to know what people that have already done business with you, what do they have to say about your product or services. So there's a short one, there's a detailed one of the AI summary types, and then there's action points. Action points is the bulleted one that I showed you that is on our website that we used. That's the one I liked because it was really easy and with bullet points for somebody to quickly, easily understand what it's about. Next up, we've got a bunch of different areas that we can pick from where we want the AI summary to show up different review sources that we want to display and as well as the different type of widget type that we want to use. We've got the list view, there's a carousel view, there's a slider view, there is something called flash there as well, and then the rating type that you want to showcase. Flash is kind of cool because it's the one that shows up at the bottom right hand corner on your website. It just kind of shows up over and over again. From there, we have more settings. For example, up top widget heading, this heading is this right here, what we wanted to say. So something like need more proof. Don't worry. We've got you. We can add in a description, check out what our customers are saying and then what we want to display do we want to display the writer review button or not generally in this area we don't want to display that because the purpose of this particular widget is meant to showcase reviews to prospects right there may be another type of widget we build where we may want to show the writer review button to make it easier for us to get reviews from customers total review count. It doesn't show the entire review. It only shows a review count within the certain period of time. So I would recommend hiding that. Just showcase the rating there. Makes it look nice and clean. From there, we've got color choices, themes, just like you saw. We chose ours to be dark mode because it matches the website theme. 
but there's a bunch of different color settings you can choose from to make it more on brand with you. A little bit more settings here as well. If you want to exclude any reviews that doesn't have a description that just shows a star rating. So for example, if you look at this very first one, it just has a star rating. If I click this, it'll hide that review and any other reviews of that nature and only show reviews that actually have a description, a review written throughout. From there, I can go ahead and hit save. Assumed we pressed save at this point. And now this widget is available for us to use inside our website builder and the funnel builder. All you do is drop in an element, type in the word reviews, and that widget shows up. Let me show you exactly how to do that. All right, I've gone ahead and gone to sites and pulled up one of our templates, funnel templates. And what I'll do is simply add in another section here. And when I add in a section, I can just type in reviews and it'll pull up that reviews template for me. And now I can make adjustments and make it appear as I would like for it to appear. Once I save it and publish it, then it'll appear on the website just like you saw this one. So there you have it, folks. Use the review widgets for your website. Don't hide those amazing reviews. Show it to your customers, and we will see you on the next one. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.